Madison. But first tonight at 6, the busiest moving day of the year is set for next week in Madison. But will one of the biggest moving companies be ready to handle the load? U-Haul employees say they'll provide customers with options during the off-campus housing move that happens every August 14th and 15th. But options do not guarantee customers will get the type of vehicle they reserved and for the length of time that they actually reserved it. News 3 investigative reporter Adam Schraker joins us now with more. Uh, Michelle and Eric, we started looking into this when we were contacted within the last week by a couple of U-Haul customers. They told us they'd gone online to reserve vehicles to move at the end of July, only to find out that things had significantly changed when they went to pick up their truck. The physical heavy lifting of moving is often matched by its mental counterpart. It's moving, it's really stressful. Jeff Lynn had tried to ease his tension by reserving a U-Haul truck online weeks before his move to his new apartment along East Washington Avenue. I got a confirmation email the same day that said, yep, everything's good. I got a confirmation email five days later saying the exact same thing, didn't think anything of it. Until moving day arrived and the stress returned. I realized there was going to be a problem with my reservation when I walked in because the girl in front of me had the exact same issue. The issue was that his two-day rental turned into an eight-hour rental. He was told the company shortened rental times at the end of the month and that he should have received an email alerting him to the change. The end of the line was, we can't help you. He was forced to rent a second vehicle the next day, a smaller one that required more trips back and forth. Needless to say, we were extremely exhausted. His experience comes two weeks before the busiest moving day in Madison every year. And upon reflection, Jeff Lynn is more than happy to advise those students on more than simply bending their knees when they're carrying heavy objects. Double check your reservation. Even if you got a confirmation, better call them back because I had a confirmation and it didn't mean anything. U-Haul says it is reaching out to customers with reservations next week to discuss options with them about who needs what equipment and for how long. It's encouraging folks to complete moves within six hours next week. The head of U-Haul in western Wisconsin sent us a statement saying U-Haul is trying very hard to accommodate and help as many families as best as we can. And we ask only that families and students be patient and understanding. Now, the company statement is also very critical of the mass moving experience by the school and the local housing community and says it's doing the best that it can considering the situation. Now, if you do not get what you rented, if anything changes from your reservation, the company will give you $50 and try and find another option. Well, so they're trying on their end at least, but boy, just another thing to stress about if you're moving. It's a lot of next worries. Week, a lot on your list, a lot on your plate. Adam, thank you. Thank you. All right, there are several hundred victims across three different states at the now defunct Great American Balloon Company. That is the message we heard today from the trustee overseeing the auction of the company's six balloons. The money raised will be used to pay customers back whose efforts to fly were canceled by the hot, the hot air balloon company. Customers who currently hold tickets and want to become creditors need to send an email to this information right here. It's moliaadvisors.com. That's info at moli moliaadvisors.com. They are encouraged to include the name of the person who bought the ticket, their mailing address, and phone number. Claim forms will also be sent out to creditors in the next week or two. If you have a consumer problem, contact our Call for Action hotline at 608-270-2833. It's open tomorrow from 11 to 1 every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can also go online to channel3000.com slash call for action.